us about the two most recent bills that have just been signed into law. One is the student loan bill and the other is a data protection bill. Uh, first of all, the student loan bill has received a lot of conversations around it. People who are for and people who do not really think that it would work out. But these bills have been signed into law. And we've seen, you know, other countries in the West and more developed climes where these kind of laws work. In fact, people who japa from Nigeria, if I'm to use that word, in the name of study, uh, you know, is this kind of laws at work in these countries that help them find their footing? Uh, in, you know, in the place of taking loans from banks, in the place of uh, industries sponsoring via scholarships and all that. How do you think that affects the average Nigerian student? It's, it's, it's a good move, but we need to, like the Chinese we say, that um, it's better to measure 10 times and cut once than to measure once and cut 10 times. So if we sustain the revamping of our institutions and prepare to manage the ecosystem of the policy, it's an effective one because even in countries where you have students loan, as at now, America is under the weight of about one trillion uh, students' debts. You see, and now, how do you repay? It's a big question. The UK has a very impressive system where if you earn so much, you pay. If you don't earn, you don't struggle to pay. In fact, you start paying when you are about 27. So it, it's quite friendly, unlike some areas. And the big question now is we have a population of about 133 citizens under the poverty uh, bracket, multifaceted poverty in Nigeria. So what is the guarantee? So that means we also need to quickly invest in job creation through industrialization true attraction of foreign direct investments to the country so that if I go borrowing or my parents borrow to send me to school, as soon as I'm out of school, I can start working and begin to service the loan. And 